We grew up on a ranch in Pu'uhue. Um, my father was a cowboy. In the evening times, um, we'd play music. My mom sang, my dad played. Um, it was just constant for us. We still just watched them play. When we were getting older, we started to imitate them. We didn't really have our, the real instruments, so we played rakes and brooms, and we just made like we were musicians at that time. That's how we started. Nani Lim Yap, Sunny Lim, and Lorna Lim are second generation members of the famed Lim Family Musical Group, started by their parents, Elmer and Marianne Lim of Kohala on the Big Island. Basically, we were raised to do traditional Hawaiian music. That was the sustenance of our family. My dad believed that that was the foundation of the heartbeat of our people.
Music was an integral part of daily life for the Lim family, but it wasn't a career until an unexpected turn of events after matriarch Marianne Lim took a job in 1965 at the newly opened Mauna Kea Beach Hotel on the Big Island's Kohala Coast. My mom was a cook at Mauna Kea, and on the evening time, she, I mean, she would be cooking in the kitchen and singing. So what happened is, one of the managers there um, asked my mom if she would think about singing at the hotel. So my mom said, sure, why not? Because she, along with my uncle, which was her brother Lawrence Neula, they used to play music at parties here in Kohala at Keokia Keo Beach Park. So that was how it was really the beginning of our family music. Aloha, you know. In 1978, the Lim family won a contest to produce a record album. It was the first of many albums and awards for the singing group, which included parents Elmer and Marianne and three of their six children. In 2012, the group was honored with a Naohoku Hanohano Lifetime Achievement Award by the Hawaii Academy of Recording Arts. Nani, Lorna, and Sunny, along with other members of their family, perpetuate the mele and hula traditions passed on to them by their kupuna. 
our job was to be the living recordings of our Ali's, telling their story, the battles they fought, the love affairs they've had, the children that was born to them. So I really take to heart these mo'olelo, oli and mele of our mo'ikane and the ohana. And I always tell my ladies in Halau, it is a privilege to bring living words on a paper to life. Understanding all of those ancient dances help our students travel through time, helping us to really dance in the footsteps of our ancestors. Yeah, sometimes it's not about the flower, it's about a person, yeah? Not really in a love affair, but maybe could have been wanted to be suggestive. suggestive. Can you imagine our kupuna like that? Can you imagine our people like that? Yeah. And so many stories held in hula. Hula was as much a part of the Lim family's home life as singing. Marianne was kumu hula for her daughters. Today, three of her children, Lealoha Lim Amina, Nani Lim Yap, and Lorna Lim are each kumu hula with their own hello. It didn't take long for the Lims to gain international attention, especially in Japan. If you look at the cultural aspect, why Japan? They're the most interested people in our hula than anywhere else in the world. And sometimes it took that going away to come home and realize what we have home here. In Japan, you know, they love you and you stand there and they stand in a line to do an autograph with you and just to touch you and they're in tears, it really 
makes you really appreciate what you do and really humbles us, really humbles us because we're grateful that they love what we love. Nani Lim Yap, Lorna Lim, and Sunny Lim continue to perform as the Lim family. And while both Nani and Lorna travel frequently to Japan to teach hula, Sunny has distinguished himself as a Grammy Award winning slack key artist. To me, the journey is more important. You know, for each musician, and you know, your journey is unique to you. And, you know, if you can find what you're passionate about in life, well, whatever it is, you know, sometimes you can search your whole life and not find it. I was just happy that it showed up.
Other people will definitely share their love with you. If it's through a song, through a lay that we give you, through a chant, and even if, like my mother, if she's still here, was a loaf of sweet bread, you'll feel her love in it. It's old style. When we were younger, just singing and, and dancing with family and with friends, there's this pride that they had when they were singing those, those songs. And hopefully it would be like that for our children so that when they sing it and when they share it, it has that same kind of appeal. What better way to hold history and pass it on than through this medium of music and dance. We were just trying to give the people a part of who we are and a little bit of koala. <laughs> Na e pili hemore, e unia unia 
This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.